opening through the divine feminine ranges at the Kosho Shishata Ashoshi. And clearing through the center of the mind at the Koshoshi. These long held beliefs, Toshoshi, these patterns which have been hardwired, Toshoshi into the brain, Toshoshi into the mind, into the mental state, Toshoshi Shato Koshoshi. The state of being based on affairs of the mind, the mentally created realm, let's drop into the heart base as we start to call forward, your true essence tone here. Diving into the depths of your waters, where to come into this range before meant sudden and total death and destruction of the psyche. And yet, these waters, these deep realms, are exactly what is so potent about your being, so powerful, so true, and so authentic. And yet, prior to this age, to this range of light here, this bioavailability of light within the earth realm, through the human experience, to come in, to these places within the being would have felt like death so where we developed these patterns of shame when we would come into close contact with our true selves good Opening through the neural networks, opening through the cells. And let's come into the brainstem, into the center of the mind, the base of this framework here. And let's bring in the light, the fire codes of the earth realm. To start to dissipate these toxic relay patterns, this stronghold, continuing to clear through the heart as we come into the center of the heart, holding this stillness, holding this presence, this desire to be within your own presence. As these toxic patterns, toxic energies, toxic mindsets begin to dissipate and dismantle and fall away. This cleansing and this purge, this cellular detoxification. As you anchor in more and more light of your being, this light expresses out the distortion from your body. So we may be currently expressing distortion through our being. This does not mean this is who we truly are. So allowing for this purge, this cleansing to occur. Staying within the ranges of massive self-care for the body. Attending to the essential needs. This may be requiring a deep shift. And what is most important? In these coming weeks, Atokosho Ichata Icha Shukaya Taka 
this vitality, adjusting into this uh, it's coming up as a vital index. This is all occurring through the feminine ranges. Yes, the earth is shifting, but we are also earth bodies. Our bodies are experiencing the same shifts here now. As much as we have reverence for Mother Earth and all she is going through, we need to treat our bodies with the same respect and honor. Tending to its needs in this time of detoxification. This isn't about figuring out the next steps, making a game plan. This is about holding vigil for this release, supporting the body in the best possible way. No need to analyze. No need to psychoanalyze what we are currently experiencing as much as we understand this is a physical shift knowing that there is divinity in all of what we are experiencing there is no other way we are always on this path can we allow ourselves to slip below the surface where the waters are choppy where the mind begins to panic allow ourselves to be carried through the twists and turns of this river knowing we will always resurface when the time is right, when the landing appears, the heart will know it is time to arise and to step forth. Jaya no koro osho it's opening through the masculine ranges now. Let's start to anchor in your source light. Opening through the cellular index. Anchoring your light here. Beyond the voices, beyond the echoes. These caves of isolation. Bringing your light in here. Wherever you hear the echoes of the past. Into the feminine heart range. Bringing your light to look and see clearly. As long as your light is in here, there is nowhere for this manipulation to hide. And thus it is seen for what it is. Merely an extension. Of an energy which does not know itself as the light nothing more than light unknowing itself and so into every space every corner every thought every breath you bring the knowing of your light you bring the knowing of you as light let us uncover let us stand fully 
expressing, shining, being. If your light shines brightly, simply by you being here. There is nothing more to do than to allow this to unfold. Shiataki clearing through the back of the head, anchoring in his amethyst tones at the Koshushi Shataki. Clearing the despair and the desperation. These cries of the Kosho E, the Kasha E, Chato Kosho Shi Shata Shashi Shataka. Just noticing where this is coming in through the left side of the mind, at the Kosho E, Chata Kasha Shi Shataka. But your light is already here and anchored, the Kosho E, Chano Kosho E. So that these fears, this energy that is crying out, these are voices of the past. These are expressions of the trauma of the past within your being. And so to come to them and help them recognize you are present and you are here now. There's no need to fear. There is no need to re-traumatize what is being healed here and now through this presence through you showing up here Good. Just opening through the horizontals and through the mental ranges now to release this out from the left shoulder the base of the brain, the top of the neck here, no kosho ija. Shata ki, shata ah. Good. Releasing the identities and the stories we built through the distortion. And the recognition, the kosho shi, shata ka. Through the masculine heart range of these realities that we have created, which were not our truth. And yet releasing into the great mystery, to the great beyond. And everything there is purpose. In all things, we are present. Good. Aligning to the halls of wisdom here. Through your heart range. Coming back. Full circle. Clearing through the front of the mind. As you step into your passion, stepping into your nakedness, this realm of love, as it is so.